Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Please don't look at Europe because Spain is blobbing like a motherfucker. Let's just focus over here where we're at war with Japan and Ming. Da 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 da. Let's see if we can go kill these Japanese zealots. I didn't want to kill them because eh, if we annex them first, they just vanish. But in this case, since we have uh, a little bit of time before we actually hit the NX button, we have to wait for our cores to finish on Korea. I might as well go kill them now before they finish that siege. Makes sense. How old am I? I'm old enough to play this game. Which um, is very telling, I'm sure. Okay, let's group up some of you morons right there, and we'll start taking out some of China's rebels, some of Ming's rebels as well, simply because I want to keep my uh, war score, and I won't have war score if if all these rebels unsiege all this shit. Actually, I think I still will have a lot of war score. Maybe it's not so bad a thing as I think it is. It's probably not that bad. Eh, I'll kill, I'll kill him anyway, just in case it's a bad thing. Oh, goodness. Ooh, inflation. Nice. I love inflation. Wait a minute. If I tell you... If I tell you to move an army and you're going to do it on a boat, why would you move the three stack before the 24 stack? What the he- oh, I'm just gonna shut up. But yeah, that is absolutely 100% a bug. Please fix that paradox. All right, group up, give me my shit general, and get in there and fight, maggot. Okay, group you guys up. Oh, they're not there yet. All right, hurry up. Get over there. Come on. There you go. Group up. Get down there. Oh, the rebels won already. Shit. Gosh darn it. Where's my damn boats? Hurry up, boats. There we go. Group up. Pick these guys up. The the auto move thing. Where is it called? This one. Automatic transportation. It's garbage. Don't use it. It's completely broken and stupid. Don't use it. It sounds cool. But it's extremely inefficient. And it never docks your ships back up. When they're done transporting dudes, your ships just stay out at sea until they drown. So stupid. Group up. Have a general. Oh shit, did my general die? No, he's just... Is he busy? Why can't I steal my general? Okay, you go ahead and do that battle first. Okay, we're good. We're good. Come on. Come on. We're good? No? No, we're not good. Come on, finish the, finish the battle. Thank you. Okay, get down there. Steal your general. And get over here. No, 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 not in the navy. In the army. There you go. Alright, kick some ass. There you go. Stupid Catholic zealots. This is a war. Get out of the war. Alright, assault the fort. And get out of dodge. Excellent. Why are my transports part of this navy now? What the fuck? Hell if I know. Oh, that's awful. Okay. So I told my troops to auto-transport over. My transport fleet had 23 transports. My trade fleet had one transport in it because it had won a battle during the war. But since it had a transport in it, my trade fleet 
merged with my transport fleet and assisted in the moving of troops. So apparently I have to turn off disable automatic transportation or else it's just always going to do that. So I lost my trade fleet's direction and he needs to go back to doing what I... Oh, that's so stupid. Just don't use automatic ship transport. Just don't. It's garbage. It's terrible. Save yourself the trouble and the headache and the heartache. Okay, well, we've got Ming sieged. I mean, that's 100% sieged. It says 99. I don't know. Oh, it's because Lanzong is still in the war. Lanzong, do you want out of the war? No. He's like, I like war. I'm Lanzong. Whatever. Just go back to Beijing. Don't need him. France is an absolute monarchy. Okay. There we go. On the boat. Ah, oh, we're almost ready for uh, annexing Japan. Good. I can't wait. Shit, call for peace. Fucking call for peace! And if you watch the last video, you'll know why that's a very upsetting message. Oh my god, we're at 100%. Finally. Okay, uh, what do we want to do? Relations to the Ottomans, yes. Anyone else? I think I want to get relations with Russia so that he won't coalition me. Although, I mean, if I'm annexing Ming soon, I guess it doesn't matter. You know, it still, no, 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 it still matters. It still matters. I don't want coalitions. It still matters. Hey, Salish has finished. And that means we have another colonist. Move along, please. Sweet. And let's see if we can get our exploder over here. Here you go. And let's go explode this way. And check out what's around there so that we can colonize all the way up to... Oh, shit, is that Portugal? No! It's Portugal! Damn it. I was hoping to have all of California and Alaska to myself, but it looks like Portugal got a little bit of Alaska. Damn it. At least we got all of California. That makes me feel good in my pants. Darn it, darn it, darn it. All right, diplomat come back from Joe. Korea is about to annex, or Korea is about to finish coring. So it's time to annex Japan. There you go, Korea has cored. Yay! There goes Japan, core that shit. I'm tempted to release Ryuku as a vassal just for shits and giggles, but nah. Now, we gotta keep an eye on rebels, because it's very likely we're gonna get some Japanese rebels of some kind, either Ryuku nationalists or Japanese nationalists. Don't know which kind, uh, but you can see there's decent amount of revolt risk here. It's gonna take some time to go away. Overextension's at 112, but that'll go away in... Uh, June, July, August, September. Uh, three months, they'll go away. Not a problem. Well, sort of a problem. Not really. Transports back to Beijing. Uh, let's get a couple more transports. Let's bump it up to 30. One, two, three. One, two, three. 30 transports will work. And then we'll have to find what kind of peace deal we want with Ming. Now we have 300 Diplo, but that doesn't necessarily mean we want to burn 300 Diplo on this peace deal. In fact, it's very likely we won't take anywhere near that. But let's at least give everything that Joe can take to him right now, so we'll know what we're looking at in the peace deal. 
Uh, I have some claims here, so I should probably take some of this land. I don't really want that or that because it's only three base tax total. But these over here, that's 14, 21, uh, 31 base tax. If I can take those 31 base tax, that would really make it easier to eat up Ming later on. Uh, but yeah, for now, why don't you get relations up with Meow while we wait for these cores to finish. Hopefully we can get through this without too much exhaustion. I don't want to hit this button because as soon as we peace out, the war exhaustion is going to go down every month anyway. So I don't want to force the war exhaustion down right now. We need our Diplo points. We need points. We need L. We need all kinds of points. Claim our rival's province, Mortaban. What the fuck is Mortaban? M-O-R-T. It doesn't exist. What the hell? M-O-R-T. It does not exist, game. Let me, let me just read that again. Claim our rival's province, M- Oh, it's Martaban. Whoops. There you go. M-A-R-T. Ah, Martaban. Got it. Ah, it's Spain's colony. Uh, yeah, I'll take that mission. I'll take that mission. So come back from the Ottoman Turks. It helps if I spell it right. Oh god, 70 days to come back from the Ottoman Turks. Sweden has declared on Russia. Uh-oh. Oh shit. Well, that's going to be the RQ to go to war with Russia, that's for sure. Now, I did fabricate on Russia, so this would be a good time to go eat all these lands here for Perm. For Perm and country! How many troops does Russia even have? Russia! 33,000 troops, but his tech is... Oh, his tech is pretty good, actually. He's caught up. Sweden is tech 21. I am tech... 20. We're almost tech 21. We're just not quite there. Yeah, most of Europe is tech 21. They're teching up they're teching up years and years ahead of time, which is scary. All right, we're no longer over the overextension limit. That's good. France is at war with Savoy. That's fine. Sweden is improving relations with us. Ah, oh, it's adorable. It's sweet, dude. I can't believe it's, it's, it's adorable. All right, fabricate on Spain. On Martaban, not Mortaban. Martaban, not Morbihan. Britain has declared war on France. Goody. No, that's a good thing. Yeah. Goodbye, France. God, goodbye, France. Russian patriots. Oh, wow. Are we going to have some more Russian rebels? It looks like it. And uh, let's see what kind of peace deals are going to be available down here. Uh, yeah, come on back from Meow for now. Yeah, 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 whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, is this a... No, this is not a she. This is a ye province. Interesting. So your cores are very small. Wow, so small. All right, let's see what's available. If I give everything that I can to she, that's that, 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 that. That's already 19 war scores. So that's 20 war score essentially just for those. And this one, Chengdu, we can give to she as well, Chengdu. Wow, look how much more expensive it is to take it in here. It's cheaper to take it here. The war, the war score cost is cheaper to take a province in this list because that was our that was our um, causes belly. We used reconquest as causes belly. And if you siege it, then it's cheaper to take it. If we do it here, it's more expensive. It's like twice as expensive. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. Okay. And then Joe can take all this stuff. There's no way we can get everything for Joe. It's just not possible. We can get a lot. There's 99. Wow. But that means we don't take anything at all. And I really think we should take at least something. Because if we take something, we can reduce the cost of eating Ming in the future. Whatever our vassals can take, 
anything that our vassals can take uh, will be reduced because they're already a core. So in any future war, whatever we give to our vassals is going to be reduced anyway. But if we can take some stuff, then that'll reduce uh, the cost of Ming's lands in the future as well. Ninety-seven. Maybe I... And I don't want to skip that. I don't want to skip that. Because... Because annexing Xi would be the next thing on my list. I want to annex Xi before I declare on Russia. Hmm. And I can't take anything I want. Like, I want this one. This one's like 9 base tax. And I want this one. This one's 10 base tax. Huh. All right, let's let's keep this little pocket here. Let's skip that one and skip that one. So we're at 87. Okay, uh, skip that one. So Joe will have those. We're at 84. Can we get this? Yes, we can. Can we get this? No. It's just so expensive. Hmm. Ninety three, hundred and five. Oh my god, this one province is forty over extension. How much OE do I have? I have seventy two OE. All right, you know what? Let's stay under the seventy two limit. Oh shit, it got rid of my peace deal. What the fuck? Why did it get rid of my peace deal? What the fuck? Yeah, your peace deal's just gone. You're welcome. Thanks, game. No, really, that's great. I appreciate it. Who who needs a peace deal these days anyway, right? Fuck it. It's just a peace deal. Wow. Alright, uh, what can we do here with 87... Maybe we can get Wu Chang for Xi, and Xi can core it. Then I don't have to core it. If we do that, we're going to spend an ass load of Diplo on it, though. But that means we don't go over the overextension limit. Okay, that sounds good. So carefully give this to Xi. Please tell me you didn't get rid of my peace deal offer. Oh, it's still there. Good. There you go. And that's 100. Okay, there. Fine. Whatever. And then I just won't take anything. I'll core stuff later on, I guess. Done. Okay, and now we annex she. Wait. Oh, I thought I had relations high enough. I don't. Relations are nowhere near high enough. Well, darn it. Why are you upset, she? Aggressive expansion. Really? You really care about my aggressive expansion? You mean all of that land that I took to give to you? That pisses you off somehow. Oh, I'm sorry. Holy shit. What a picky son of- What? Diviet has entered a coalition against us. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You're not- You, you gotta be kidding me, Diviet. All right, let's uh, give you a, a gift, I think. We'll see if we can get she annexed before we declare on Russia. But I want to declare on Russia, like, right the fuck now. So this needs to be quick. I thought I had all, the, all of this already done. I guess I thought wrong, shit. 200 ducats, little drop in the bucket. Wow. I'm not going to give subsidies. Oh, my shitty general died. No! 
my shitty generals died. No. Hey, Hedges has westernized. Congratulations, Hedges. You obviously are moving up in the world. Huh. Maybe I annex him after the war. I mean... Wow, that, that used all of my Diplo points. That peace deal used all of my Diplo points. Ouch. Yeah, let's beat up, let's beat up Russia. Fuck it. Uh, oh. Improve relations with Russia. No, don't improve relations with Russia. We're gonna eat Russia. Also, colony arrived in Squamish. Yay, Squamish. Which means we should colonize this province next to block off all of California. Dali has insulted. Uh, what? Dali has insulted us. I kid you not. He's eight techs behind and he's small. And he just insulted. Are you fucking kidding me? Dali, what are you doing? Ooh. Colony finished. Sweet. Uh, that should free up a colonist. I'm not sure we're going to use him right away, but I think we'll at least move him out there. Malacca. Okay. Do I want to go for New Zealand? Well, Portugal's already going there. I think I should go there, yes. So give me my transports. Let's go to New Zealand. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby and grab ourselves a snack. Down here, boys. To New Zealand! Chang has gained a province. Good for you, Chang. Also, let's get to the Russian border, okay? We won't need tons and tons of troops, and we do have tons and tons of manpower right now, but... We'll bring lots of troops anyway, simply because we might be able to end the war a little faster if we do that. Alright, Russia, I've had enough of your shit. It's time for you to die. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, I don't know. Just die, Russia. Just fucking die already? You're green and you're ugly? It's true. Uh, we need a new colonist place. Uh... I guess right here. Yeah, this is good. Go here. And can I free somebody up? Uh, not really. Alright, go down there anyway. And this will block off Portugal from getting in here. This way it's... California will remain ours. Good. Okay, let's see if we can squeeze some more manpower with these regimental camps. We should be able to. Anything that has Manchu culture. Prime, prime location for regimental camps. Oh, Russia's attacking. Yeah, it's adorable. He's got five shock, everybody. He's got five shock, everybody. Look what I can do. Oh shit, my colony was damaged. Ah, eh, whatever. It'll be fine. Where is my colonist anyway? He's in Squamish, of course. Lose legitimacy or lose prestige? Lose the prestige. I got lots of prestige. No problemo. Not even a pequeño problemo. Sweden annexed Mecklenburg. Oh, fun! Because, you know, what we need in Europe is more blobs. We need the Spain blob, the Britain blob, the French blob, the common blob, the auto blob, and the Sweden blob. By the way, Hungary is winning his war to keep the Union over Milan. And the more that he wins the war, the more prestige he gets. When he took the Union over Milan, he had negative 20 prestige, which means... All they had to do was not declare war, and the Union would break automatically. 
But instead, the AI is like, no, and they declared war. Therefore, the union will continue because the AI is just dumb as rocks. They don't understand prestige. They don't get it. Was that good voice acting there? I think that was pretty good. I liked it. Man, I should get a job in voice acting. Holy shit, how many times are you gonna fucking rebel? Stop rebelling. I'll leave. Do I, no, I'm not gonna leave anybody there. Fuck it. If you rebel, it's your own damn fault. The colony will finish whenever you guys stop rebelling, you stupid little pissants. Alright, let's yank him out of Squamish. Yank him. And we're gonna head to New Zealand, North Island. It's gonna be tough because there's a lot of natives. There's. Fucking, no, it's only one, oh, let me see. Okay, there's not a lot of these, there's just one guy. It's one guy. And then after Russia, we need to start beating up Uzbek and Nogai and Mughals. Ah, oh, we finished our mission to claim Spain. Reduce overextension. Hey, I'm doing that right now. But if we finish that, all you do is you get a diplomat. It's like, who the fuck cares? I'll take it, though, because we're already doing it anyway. Might as well finish the mission. It's faster than waiting a year for a new mission to come around. Spain has declared war on Orissa. Oh, my God, Spain. Oh, my God, Spain. You're such a warmonger. Who's going to stop Spain? I can't. He's got 300,000 troops. Are you out of your goddamn mind? My vassal is beating up Russia. Yes, my one province minor vassal just beat up Russia. Oh my fucking god. I love it. That's brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> oh, goodness. Right, get off the goddamn boat. Dali has entered a coalition against us. You know, I, I don't really care if Dali enters a co I mean, I sort of care. No, I don't care. They can do whatever they want. Look, it's a coalition. Oh no, it's Dali and Diviet. <laughs> Nobody cares. Uh, do, I want, do I want relations with Joe? Not yet. Not yet. Who do I want relations with? Probably nobody. We might as well get relations up with Kazakh, just so we can start beating them up. No, let's get a claim on no guy, so we can declare war on him soonish. In a few years. Who's this? Gondwana, you got it. Aha! Russia's army rears its ugly head. So, so this is this is how the AI works. If a player is at war with the AI, the AI will focus 100% of its resources to fight the player. However, if another AI is at war with an AI, they will ignore them completely and instead focus on the player. Sweden declared war on Russia. So what does Russia do? Russia invades the player. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Uh huh. And it's not like this is the first time this happened. This is exactly what the AI does every time. Britain has allied Brittany. Well, that just sounds wrong. How could you do that? Yay! Cores are coming in. I love it. Autonomy increased has ended in Alxa. Does that mean we can lower it? Alxa, talk to me. Um, nope, it's at negative three. So we can't lower the autonomy there because it's, yeah. Too high revolt risk. All right, let's get our transport ships home. Back to Beijing. Beijing, Beijing. Beijing, Beijing. And let's take this 20 stack. And let's roll into Russia. Roll into Russia. We need secret weapon Ulm. What do you need secret weapon Ulm for? Hey, colonization successful. Fantastic. There you go. That'll 
That'll prevent Portugal from getting in here. Spain is no longer embargoing us. Okay. New Castile, do you want independence yet? Nope, they're at 43%. So long as they don't go above 50% independence desire, they will never even try for independence, which I think is bullshit, but eh, it's just the way the mechanics work. Prove relations with the idea. Take Martaban, release unity. These are terrible missions. Cancel the missions. These are terrible. Okay. We've arrived. Now, I do want to spread out and grab more of the island before Portugal gets too much of it. But this is all part of colonial Australia, so I guess it doesn't matter that much if we get any of this shit. Uh. I do want to prevent him from getting the nice base tax out here, though. I mean, there's... Wow, look at that. There's 9,000 natives, and they're absolutely hugely aggressive, meaning this is their chance to revolt. This is huge chance to revolt, and they never will, because AI. Welcome to the player. All right, so how goes things with Russia? Pretty good so far. We're still getting over here. It takes time to walk to Russia. It really does. Uh, let's go top off relations with the common derp. I wouldn't want to lose our alliance there. Although he is losing his war at the moment. How are you losing that war, by the way? Well, because you're fighting Hungary, Milan, the Ottomans, the Pope, and Tuscany at the same time. Yeah, that could be a problem. I could see that as a uh, potential boo-boo. Alright, let's invade. Don't fucking wait. I got 200,000 manpower. Fucking invade already. Oh, and Portuguese lands in uh, India are flipping away to other nations. That's cool. Uh-oh, someone has westernized. Zazu has westernized. Congratulations, Zazu, on your westernization. Oh, hello, Russia. Hello, Joe. Goodbye, Russia. <laughs> oh, goodness. Crimea has finished their westernization. Wow. Crimea is a western nation. I've never seen them westernized before. Wow. Alright, let's get in. Let's go. Let's go to his capital. Fuck him up. I want to make sure we get some stuff sieged so that we can at least give some stuff to Perm. If we don't get anything sieged, then Sweden's gonna get everything. You're slow to the party, you'll miss out. Cusco is westernizing. Everyone's fucking westernizing. And our colony was damaged again. This is the fourth time in the past, like, year that this colony has revolted. And Portugal, uh, whose colony has the same amount of aggressiveness, which is their chance to revolt, Portugal, whose colony has the exact same amount of aggressiveness, has not had a single revolt. Of course not, because they're AI. Oops, I said no to that military access. I don't even know whose it was. We refused Dali access. Well, of course I'm going to refuse Dali access. They entered a coalition against me. Why would I give them access? What, why would... If a nation enters a coalition against if nation a enters a coalition against nation b why would nation a ask nation b for military access that doesn't make any sense at all and why would nation b even consider it obviously they wouldn't anyway that's going to do it for this episode thanks for joining me today i've been shen you've been you rage is real and ming is still falling apart i didn't take any lands from them but i did feed zhou and xi pretty massively as soon as my war with russia is over we're going to annex xi and then we're going to start beating up Uzbek, Mughals, Nogai, and whoever else, because we can.
I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.